Hey beloveds, thanks for tuning in to Beanie TV where a few sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. The day has come. Finally. I finally bought a new camera. And I'm so excited. Like, I bought the Canon um, Rebel T5i. I have wanted a camera for two years. I booked a modeling job slash commercial and I used that money to buy this new Canon and I am so thankful. It is the flip screen. The screen flips up so I can see myself. It does automatic focus. I mean, your girl's looking pretty good. Natural. Okay. Um, <laughs> you guys don't understand because my old camera was a Nikon D3100, 3200. I had it since 2011 and I would have to place like my yoga mat on my chair and then look at my camera and then try to focus and I would have to go back and forth back and forth but now I don't have to do that. I'm so happy for it. I'm so excited and I get to see myself as I am recording and that's going to be like challenging because the lens is here but my face is here. Today, I wanted to just, yeah, just talk about like life and life update. That's what this video is about. Um, so let's start this video. Okay, so I just wanted to say I got a new camera. Um, thank you, baby Jesus. But uh, let's go ahead and do our affirmation for this video. So go ahead and close your eyes, take a deep breath in. Release. Everything I be and everything I see is a reflection of the God in me. Everything I be and all that I see is a reflection of the God in me. One more time. Everything I be and everything I see is a reflection of the God in me. So that's like a hip hop affirmation. Like, yes, it is not grammatically correct, but if it feels good in the spirit, that's all that matters, okay? So first and foremost, I have not done a video in like two and a half weeks. I have really been pressing into myself. It's not even funny. I've been keeping to myself, pressing into myself, not talking to people. I just need to be with me. And I've, you know what I've learned, guys? I've learned that nobody actually needs me. No one needs you. You know, and the only person that needs you is you. So you have to like really dig in and figure out who you are and just understand that you are amazing. That's what I've been understanding about myself is that I am amazing and I really like myself and I really like spending time with myself and I really like talking to myself. It's so weird, but I do and being able to just and i've been off social media guys i have not been on social media since like september about and being off the social media allows you to breathe allows you to look at your own life and you're not taking in the constant ads and images of other people's highlight reels and it's so important to take a social media break and i believe that I am an influencer and on my way to becoming a bigger influencer but that does not mean that I have to continuously produce images and and, and inspiring quotes and stuff for um, subscribers or followers or just like friends and family like I need to replenish and I think that's the most important thing about leaving social media is re Planishing. What do you actually want out of life? Who are you actually? Because the person that is being envious or jealous or, or desiring the things that other people are flaunting on social media, you might not even want that stuff. So if you have not taken a break from social media all year, I am telling you to take a break. You don't need it. You do not need it. And um, again, if you are an influencer, you got a, like 1,500,000 1, followers, it's okay your followers are still gonna be there for you when you get back but please believe when I come back I'm ready I got the images ready okay I've got i please believe I've still been taking the pictures I've got the quotes I'm ready um, but you know I've been working when I'm not working um, so yeah take a social media break if you haven't already I was going to write down the things I was going to talk about with the life update because um, you know me you know I'd be rambling we, 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 we be talking about everything we be talking about anything um, so what else? I 
have been going since February. No meat, no eggs, um, no seafood. And I am going to continue on this uh, uh, diet, not, I don't want to say diet, lifestyle modification and be serious about it because it's been like four years where I've been on again, off again, consistent and healthily being a vegan vegetarian. Now, I still consume products that have milk in it like coffee or um, chocolate and stuff like that. But I first was introduced to, uh, is that a word, vegetarianism? back in college. So in 2007, 2008, I was like, oh my God, you can, you have the option of not eating meat? Cause you guys know I'm, I'm a Ghanaian American, first generation. I grew up eating Ghanaian food. So that is very meat heavy. So when I got to college, I was like, what? But then I gained like 15 pounds. Like, yeah, freshman 15. Like, I think I gained like 20 pounds. So I definitely gained weight because all I was eating was carbs and I didn't know how to, and plus the food in college was not a high quality. So I just had to, I didn't know how to um, eat as a vegetarian in, in a healthy way. So definitely moving to Los Angeles has absolutely helped me eat better and be more conscious of what I am taking in. I've been able to lose weight and I've been able to really just like, I still got, you know, the little, the, the, the belly love, you know, the, 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 the pooch, I still got the pooch going, but it's just protecting my abs and that's what people need to understand. Like. It's protecting my abs, and my abs need protection, so that's why my I still have a tummy. So, there's that. But, yeah, so I've been going strong since February, and I really don't see myself eating, but can I tell you guys, like, sometimes I do have these cravings of, um, like, a McRib, or sometimes I'll have a craving for the barbecue um, chicken from KFC. Like, it's the most random thing ever, but... Um, I have been craving meat and I don't know why, but I'm not gonna not gonna do it because I'm not intaking dead energy. I'm not doing it. So um, if again, I think that it's like I, I don't know. But if you have not, if you've gone all year and you haven't um, taken a break from eating meat, which includes seafood. Every time I say I don't eat meat, people think I'm still talking about seafood. No, fish is meat. Shrimp is meat. Like it's not a vegetable. Hello. So if you have not taken a break from eating meat, I highly suggest one day a week, try it out, see how your body reacts to it. Meat constipates me, meat backs me up. When I was a child, I used to have such bad pains in my lower region and I thought, oh my God, that's it. My uterus is broken, my vagina is broken at seven years old. When really it was just constipation. So a painful constipation so once I took meat out of my diet since moving out here and again I've been on again off again flexitarian like I wasn't buying meat or seafood but if I would go out to restaurants I would eat it at the restaurant so whatever works for you and it's what it's what your body is asking you for for me my body just it's not into it and even le like letting go of cheese and bringing cheese in can I tell you guys how backed up I am I mean like we're family we're gonna get you know TMI but I'm like I need a smooth moves tea like how at your girl if you can get me a life like supply of smooth moves tea um oh my god I've been talking for nine minutes see on my new camera I can see like <laughs> how long I've been talking um okay what else um I believe that when you are pursuing your dreams, especially when it's a God dream, God asks you to sacrifice a lot of things that you did not know you were gonna have to sacrifice. And that is something that I have learned in these few weeks of keeping to myself is that I've had to sacrifice my comfort zone, like living back in New Jersey with my mom and my brother and my family and being with my mom every day and like having somebody cook for me every day and not paying rent, like that's a comfort zone and having to leave my comfort zone, having to have my friendships shaken up not being able to have a romantic relationship because just i'm not supposed to in this time and you don't know that all you know is that i'm gonna be rich i'm gonna be famous i'm gonna change the world and i'm gonna be a star but no one tells you the things that you have to sacrifice and let go of on your way to becoming a star because it's not about reaching those pinnacles of success it's about who you are when you are there because if you are of course you can still get to the top but if you're a shitty person it doesn't even matter 
So with a God dream, God wants you to receive all of the amazing, magnificent, huge, abundant things that this life has to offer, as well as being used in this world, as well as feeling good about who you are. Like that's a God dream. So God does have to get you out of your comfort zone, strip you away from everything that you know and make you into the person he originally intended you to be. So that is something else you can... Uh, Make a list, y'all. I got a list of things for you guys to consider before the year is over. Another thing is ask God, who was I intended to be before the world got to me? Before the insecurities came in, before that terrible thing that happened to me came in, before the drugs and the drinking and like, like promiscuity, before all of that came in, who was I? I'm just really enjoying myself. I N dash j-o-y just in joy and can i just say how much i dislike my job like can we just just throw that out there i really don't like it and you know guys you know i've been i've been on youtube for what i've had this channel for like seven years i've been consistent for the past three and i've had a lot of jobs in my life i've been working since i was 16 you know, I have my uh, bachelor's degree in fashion business and I tried the corporate, I tried magazines, I tried modeling agencies, and I tried retail, obviously everything. But um, I've worked in a hotel, I've worked at the YouTube office out here in LA. I have had so many jobs and I've always disliked them because they weren't what fed my soul, but they were enough, like they were, they were fine. They did what they had to do, but there was always something that's like, oh, okay, well, this isn't that bad. No, like, this is like, yeah, this is, but I know that I'm here because I need to break a cycle. I meditated on it, and that's what I heard. I heard that I need to break a cycle because where I'm, at, like, the job that I have is just like, no, I will I will not do this to myself again. I will not. I will not. I will not. And maybe I'm being a brat, maybe I'm not, but I will not do this to myself again. So, that's where I'm at. I'm I'm trying to I'm taking a break and learning how to or I'm working with myself to use the tools at hand to energetically align myself with what I know God is doing in my life and what God has already gone ahead of me to do. So, that's where I'm at what else is there to what else is there to talk about I've been listening to the friend zone podcast if you don't listen to the friend zone podcast get into it um I've been really into hip-hop lately and watching like really old hip-hop videos and because I grew up I'm I'm 28 so I grew up when it was like bad boy season and little kim and missy elliott and i was watching old Khalees videos and i'm like yo like i'm so thankful to have grown up during that time of music and i'm thankful to grow up in this time of music too like being able to see the transition of hip-hop and and artistry is just so cool so um i've been doing that i've been watching degrassi the one with drake on it and i've really just like I'm just gonna say like Drake is my hip-hop motivational speaker because the way this boy has been able to go from like who he was on Degrassi like an actor to what he is today I mean and when you listen to Drake's rapping like he talks about his ability to just like work hard pray hard and manifest the shit out of some stuff so Drake is totally my like hip-hop spirit guide like if i want to really like mm, 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 i'll listen to drake because i can i can connect to drake because drake grew up like a lot of us like he grew up like in the suburbs like he grew up single parent like his dad was in and out the picture but he had a pretty good upbringing so i think that's why i connect to drake so well and okay so also I'm gonna finish this video because I feel like I've been talking for a long time, but also I booked a co-star on the uh, Grownish series, which is the uh, spin-off from Blackish on ABC. 
So I will be on episode 10. It'll probably come out next year. So yeah, I booked Grownish, and I'm uh, there's a long story behind that, and I'm just super thankful for the for the ease and flow of God, just really just like opening up in my career and it's gonna be on Freeform, which used to be ABC Family. And I had a dope ass time on set. It was like, that's what I wanna do guys. Like that's what I love to do, that's what I wanna do. It's just so magical, so amazing. So yeah, I'm, I'm proud of myself and I never thought that I would have as much clarity as I do about my life now. I've never had this much clarity. Like I know exactly what I wanted what my life to look like and I didn't have that clarity when I was 23 at all so yeah um what else what else is going on I don't know I realized that I'm strong as hell and I realized that showing emotions is strong and crying is strong of course growing up in a Ghanaian household and depending on many cultures, showing emotions and crying, especially if you're a man. Can you imagine being a man and growing up in a culture where where emotions are seen as weak? Like, I realize that they're not. They're not. Like, my mom hates when I cry. Like, there have been times where she has hung up on me. I'm crying on the phone and she has hung up on me. She's definitely soft enough a bit because she... Uh, I hope has come to the realization that I am a sensitive being and that I cry. I cry when I'm mad. I cry when I'm sometimes when I'm happy. I cry when I'm sad. I'm a crier. And you know what? Crying and showing your emotions makes you strong. And I think that we need to let go of this notion that um, being strong means not showing your emotions. No, it is strong and it is powerful to show your emotions, especially when you've been taught otherwise. So cry if you need to get 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 riled up get passionate show people that like yeah you have emotions it is strong to show your emotions in this world and in this society so i realized that last week i also got kicked out of a uber last week the day after i shot grownish i got kicked out of an uber so that was that was great that was awesome i cried i call that critical response hotline like <laughs> i just got kicked out of an uber i was distraught I think I was distraught for like three days I was in a funk like when I tell you I was in a funk I kind of been in a funk um today is like the first day in like two weeks where I feel really really good and really happy and really up I've been definitely been in a funk for two weeks but yeah I got kicked out of the uber that wasn't cool at all so like I'm not using you Uber right now, you suck. And Lyft, you're great, but your prices, like the disparity between Uber and Lyft is just like tremendous. I can't. I've been rambling. So again, before the year is over, get into yourself. Leave social media alone if you haven't already this year. Cut out the meat and seafood if you have not already this year. And really enjoy. I am dash J-O-Y yourself before the year is over. Give yourself space to really come into yourself and love yourself and honor yourself. And get to the point where you're like, yo, if I met me, I'd be like, yo, I want to be around her all the time, every day. Um, but I'm thankful that I'm out of the funk because I was really just funky just just not feeling that great um and i think it definitely has something to do with work so but we're here now we're here and we're doing it and we're we we got this new camera and we're using it today and um see this arm wasn't really but this one is okay uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I thank you guys so much for uh, subscribing, liking, sharing, comment below if whatever you want to talk about, let's talk about it. Thank you for watching this life update and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.